everybody! Alright, so I'm going to make a video to talk about some of the Ascension experiences that I've been having over the last couple weeks. It started right about the new moon of November, and it's been trickling all the way up till even now, and I'm kind of curious to see how it goes into December, into 2018, and then it feels like a very exciting roller coaster. So my life has always been kind of an exciting roller coaster, but it's been a very difficult, very life bashing um, roller coaster from hell. But it's starting to be, you know, on the human scale of things. On the human scale of things, it's always been very, very difficult. On the spiritual scale of things, it's always been very bright and very enlightening. But it's um, it's very difficult to have a have a trying human life when you have all these happy spiritual people and it's sort of what world do I want to live in you know I want to live in the spiritual world how come you people are are putting up with this how come this is happening to me I blame you people for it <laughs> but you you eventually get over that I've been on an extremely long life scenario of spiritual experiences from a very very young age all the way up until now and I have a feeling it's probably going to last into my future as well. <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to put my finger on how I am going to talk about what has been going on in my life the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not just about last year or the year before that. And when did my human awakening actually take place? It's been an awakening experience my whole life. The awakening to the reality of our human world, the reality of our societal balance, um, the reality of energy, the reality of a spirit realm and an alien world, and how they're all interconnected, um, a reality of past, present, future, um, as perceptions, as even illusions, a reality of so many things. You just discover these things on your own when you choose to open your heart. You don't need to read a book to discover the infinite universe. You already have the book inside your heart. So I've been opening the book of my heart my whole life in order to make sense of everything, feeling like I'm walking through the dark and not having a clue what is going on here and how do I overcome this so I can live the most happiest life possible. Well, I'm entering into a state where I feel like I can count on life being positive and, and continual growth of joy. And I have a lot of uh, positive expectations for 2018, and I'm really looking forward to, to it. So, okay, again, I'm going to attempt to tell you what was happening over the last two weeks. Just brace yourself. I'm still trying to tell you. <laughs> I will spit it out, I swear to God. So it started... I was um, in a really weird, there's no such thing as coincidences, so it started with a scary movie, okay? And I don't know if you guys have ever watched the movie Silent Hill, but I love the movie Silent Hill. I don't like scary movies, I don't watch scary movies, but I love the movie Silent Hill. If you haven't seen it, I recommend anybody watch it, but obviously it's very gruesome as well. But the storyline is... Um, it's fa fantastic. It's like a spiritual mystery. Um, you're trying to solve a problem. You're trying to um, be a sleuth. Um, you're in between worlds. Um, wor a world of a human reality and a world of a spiritual hell. And in the spiritual hell space, um, those uh, beings, those spirits, um, they don't realize that they're dead. And so they're carrying out um, their own real life situation um, without realizing that they're dead. And they're not facing the true reality of what had taken place when they're alive. It's freaking nuts. It's freaking awesome, awesome, awesome movie that explores the dark side of the spiritual experience. Um, the dark side of souls, even. Souls that break and transform. A soul, a human life experience that breaks the soul and transforms the soul into the dark side of itself. And the dark side and the light side sort of break off from each other. Um, I think it's, I, I just had to watch, I had this insatiable need to watch this movie for like a couple weeks leading up to this point. Well, I finally watched the movie and I was basically, I was kind of sick, energetically sick from watching it for a couple days because I was so deeply in contemplation of the storyline, of the characters, of the scenes, of, of this version of reality, of this dimensional version of the spirit realm, of what this all means. Um, because I do this work, I do this journey work, I see the dark sides of souls, I see the light sides of souls, I see what happens in human beings that make, that transform their souls, that twist souls into becoming very disturbing, very evil, very chaotic. 
like I see this stuff so I was in, in a very deep contemplation about this and unfortunately since I'm so spiritually sensitive I can not attract negative things into my life when I explore negative things um, just like human beings that aren't spiritually sensitive can also attract negative things into their life when they think negatively anyway it's not that I was thinking negatively I was exploring negative emotions a negative scene a, a scene about destruction and evil and twistedness and I was finding at night there was I just, there was just something very discomfort, like very uncomfortable that kept visiting me. And um, I was working with Joe, my friend Joe, to help me um, with some of the weird stuff that was going on because part of my soul had to see this, had to experience this. I, at the new moon time, was was attracted to releasing some dark part of myself. And I, the only way you can release it is to kind of face it, face of something very disturbing, very vulnerable inside yourself. We see it out there, but it's really coming from in us. So that movie was bringing forward some, some very disturbing thing in my soul journey that I needed to see, that I needed to face. Do, what is it? I can't put my finger on it. I still don't know what it is exactly. But I know that, that energetically, that translates into, I need to heal that part of myself. So I was bringing that up to the surface in the process. I was attracting some like hellish sort of experiences. Um, so this sort of demonic thing, I, I had to do energy work to transform that. I had had to do energy work to transform what was sort of the whole thing, the whole thing. I had to basically, I basically had to go into the silent hill within myself and transform it. And it was, it was not easy. It was not an easy thing to do. Imagine discovering a silent hill within yourself on a spiritual level and having to just transform that so that you could become the light version of yourself. Well, for three days I was doing this. Um, and on the other side was something very powerful, very blissful. So... Um, I had the Silent Hill experience, and then I also had, uh, um, the next night, instead of watching, so I watched Silent Hill, the next night I watched, um, The Mummy, which I'd never seen before. It's basically about, uh, like a, you know, evil forces from Egypt, um, you know, the evil pharaoh, like, or evil god Set, or whatever his name is. I don't know much about Egyptian gods, but that, that was who was coming back and the sort of queen and, um, you know, Egyptian goddess, woman. Um, anyway, so I watched this. So again, we're talking about like evil things coming back to life, okay? So, so Silent Hill, um, a, a journey through an evil hell space, spiritual hell space. This, the mummy, evil things from ancient days coming back to life, okay. And then the third day, I watched Little Nicky. You know, it's about hell as well, but it's a comedy about hell. So it's like, why in the world am I watching movies about, like, evil stuff, hell stuff, even if it's a comedy? And I don't even watch movies on a regular basis, but for some reason I had three nights in a row where I was watching these movies. I was opening stuff up inside of me I, that needed to be opened so it could come up to the surface and then it could release into the light. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about with this? If you're on a spiritual pathway, if you're psychic, you're going to run into experiences that are spiritual and they are connected to your energy bodies and they're connected to the deep parts of your soul and your life is not a human life. Your life is a spiritual life. Human life is like, damn it, I, I forgot something today. Damn it, I lost my keys. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's human life, um, spiritual garbage coming to the surface. That sort of, it manifests into that. Um, spiritual life, where you feel like you're in balance with all things, you still have to shovel out the crap that's deep down inside. You're going to be constantly doing this for your entire lifetime. So I was, um, so I'm having a spiritual experience. I don't really say damn it for anything anymore. I actually accept all things are for a reason, and I'm at peace with everything. I'm at peace with stuff in my human life, and I'm at peace with stuff in the spiritual life, but again, there's trying times. Um, so anyway, my soul is sort of puking out some stuff that had to go. Now, in the process of all of this, if you can keep up, because I can't even keep up with it, I, um, I started to have an interest in opening up a new part of myself, exploring spiritual healing from a new angle, and just to see if I could do it. So I started exploring light language and it's been a lot of fun i've only done three videos on light language which i haven't shared yet <laughs> and uh, they're fantastic um i won't even talk about it i'll share them eventually i'll share them eventually 
but um, it's healing. It is totally healing to express something that comes through your voice box that is not you, that is not in the English language, that is not in any language you've ever heard of before, but it comes from your soul. So it just comes out of you. It sort of sounds like a crazy jungle monkey butterfly. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. You'll find out when I upload the videos. Um, I've been learning about this um, energy speak, light language transmission. I've been learning a lot about light language and energy speak, and um, I made those videos. And then the third video, actually, the reason why I never shared them is because the third video was corrupted. I have the voice, but the video file, like my face in the video, it just did. It just paused out, and it didn't work. So um, I'm I'm making a video with just a picture. Um, and you'll be able to hear the the actual voiceover, um, and I I I'm, I'm conquering it. I'm conquering it. But um, after I made that third video and it didn't work, it's it's given me a lot of time in between to really think about what light language means to me. So as you can see, I'm I'm having like hardcore experiences in the middle of the night. I'm purging out old crap. Um, and at the process of purging out old crap, I'm now opening up new doors for new positive things to enter into my spiritual atmosphere. So I'm trying this light language thing out, which I haven't shared yet, which I will. Um, but in the process of all this, there's still more positive stuff. So I've had some, um, you know, very positive alien experiences, which, like my life, I don't know. I mean, my life is... My life is full of, this This is why you need to wake up to your psychic ability. This is why you need to wake up to your soul, wake up to your spiritual gifts, because you want to be having this these magical experiences every day, don't you? Like, like, don't you really want to? I know you do. I know you seriously do. So that's why you need to start opening up. That way you can have aliens talking to you in the middle of the night. That way you can have creepy, demonic things happen and pouring out of your spiritual atmosphere. Actually, a lot of people don't want that, <laughs> but I'm so used used to working in the spirit realm, nothing really, everything is either hurting and needs love, or it is love and is blissful and is freaking beautiful. So there's nothing ever to be afraid of. Like a wound, a physical wound that looks like a terrible nightmare that you gotta, you gotta saw the leg off, that's pretty, that's pretty demonic, it's pretty demented physical wound. Well, that's what it looks like on the spiritual side of things when you have some sort of nightmare past lifetime that you haven't dealt with yet and then it starts to look like all these movies you're attracted to watching and then demonic forces visiting you in the night. And it's really just your, your leg being cut off situation in the spiritual realm that you need to purify in the light and heal and then just let it go and you just let it go and then it's gone and now you're speaking light language. So, <laughs> I haven't even spoken light language. You guys don't even know about me and my light language. So, okay, let me think here. Um, we're talking about like a two weeks time frame. So I'm trying to remember everything in the last two weeks. It just feels essential that I make just a jabberwocky video to talk about this stuff. And you guys can just think about it and decide what it means to you. Um, so, I made a video with Joseph. This was, I don't know, I'm guessing it had to have been, it was around New Moon, and we're all, we're approaching the full moon, so it's got to be about two weeks ago. And then I never shared it, and it just didn't feel like the right time. Well, anyway, about the exact same time as all this stuff is going on, um, I... I started discovering that I was having really horrid issues. I think this was just like a day before I I was attracted to, the, you know, we watched the Silent Hill movie, but um, I had really horrible um, issues with like, not migraines by any means, uh, but like tension, tension headaches. Every afternoon, I would just was really struggling to com talk to people. I just wanted to withdraw. I couldn't handle the sounds or the lights. It was too much information, and I was just getting really bothered by it. Well, Joe, um, I, Joe was helping me with it, and we discovered some alien stuff involved with my tension headaches, and um, connected with a group of alien beings that um, that are that are wanting to work with me. So I'll share the video. I will share the video so you can learn about about it. But it's um, to see a positive side of, if you know anything about alien stuff, if you do any YouTube searches on, not just about spiritual stuff, but alien stuff, because my life is full of spiritual and alien stuff is full of everything. 
but um, it, apparently there's an actual name for them, but you know, squids and people's spiritual atmospheres, you know, apparently those are evil alien beings, they're archons or something like that. And they're, you know, they're, they're imprisoning the human race. Well, it's not true. They, I, that, that isn't the truth. There's a lot of fear-based wisdom out there and I'm here for positive-based wisdom. And if you don't believe that positive-based wisdom is effective, then you can go to your fear-based wisdom and live a happy life with fear. <laughs> I, I'm here about positive-based wisdom to help bring people up to the light and let go of the garbagey stuff, the Silent Hill nightmare stuffs in our spiritual atmosphere that really aren't aren't the aren't as d detrimental as we may think they are they're just simply my leg got sawed off and i need to get it removed into the light <laughs> in my spiritual atmosphere we just let it go we just let the things go and just like the archons we just let them go we just let the squids go so there was a sort of a squid relationship, a squid alien relationship going on with my tension headaches um, that was totally released in like th like 10 minute journey that Joe did on me. Um, well, anyway, it introduced me to some aliens that I had noticed were talking to me um, in the night, but I didn't. I didn't really know at the same time because I get in, I get, I talk to people in the night every almost every single night, and sometimes I don't, but. I'm always having interactions in the middle of the night, and um, and so I become introduced to these new alien beings. This is also, ha I swear to God, this also has to do with the light language discovery, because I feel like these alien beings are also a part of this light language gift, also a part of some new energy healing techniques I, I might be growing into even, maybe new channeling ability, um, maybe just channeling alien beings instead of just channeling my spirit guides all the time. Um, I'm not sure where this is going to go. Um, we'll just wait and see where it goes. But <laughs> all the while, I've also been talking to Cryon a lot in the middle of the night. Um, Cryon's like been a best friend to me since I discovered Cryon. I watched one YouTube, one YouTube video where the guy who channels Cryon was making the video. I, I don't know why, but I thought it was such a joke, so hokey. It just seems so hokey. Um, but, uh, but ever since I watched it, Cryon came to visit me and I, I've, I've, he's been helping me in my life, um, ever since then. Although it feels kind of like I'm cycling out and about to work with new beings, um, new guides, new aliens, new stuff. I really feel like I'm getting through a cycle and I'm about to start working with to totally new beings, new people. Even my alien friend Avery, I, I am cycling out of that connection, out of that relationship, and I'm moving on to have totally new connections and new experiences. So I'm moving into a new phase in my ascension journey. Ascension journey is my whole life. If you ever take the time to look back, this is important to do this, to even look at yourself and who you were three months ago and who you were just at the beginning of 2017 and who you were last year in the summertime. Like It is mind-boggling how hardcore we are shedding skins. How hardcore we are shedding life, you know, life relationships, jobs, um, even places where we live, um, routines that we've always been connected with. We are shedding like nobody's business, the old stuff, so we can step into the new stuff. And um, I really feel like so disconnected from the re relationship with time at all because life is just the next thing that happens, then the next thing that happens. I don't know what four months from now looks like because in four months from now, I will have shedded so many more versions of myself that when I look back at Abby December 1st, I'm going to say, oh my God, that was like 10 years ago that I was Abby from December 1st and I made that video about the Silent Hill movie. Like I don't even relate to that girl anymore. That's how fast we're changing. That is how fast we're changing. And we're going, like, we're going through a cycle, like a hardcore cycle wash, and we're letting go of so much, and we're stepping into to new things constantly. So right now, I'm just riding the wave. Right now, I'm just riding the wave, and it's just taking me where I'm meant to go. So everybody needs to be riding the wave, right? <laughs> we, we all need to be sort of in the state of just feeling like, I'm allowing my, I'm allowing heaven, I'm allowing God, I'm allowing my ascension journey, I'm allowing my heart, I'm allowing everything to just guide me to the next thing. It's a lot harder to ride the wave if you are holding on to the old past. 
anything that you're holding on to from the old past, old earth, I, I call it, I, I'm starting to, you know, I, I get it, you know, old earth, new earth, I get it, 3D, 4D, 5D um, realities. I get where this is going. I get I get the whole concept and I do relate to it on, on certain levels. Um, I relate to the fact that I live on planet Earth and I'm happy to live on planet Earth. I'm happy to be um, discovering myself as a soul in a world where I don't remember my soul. <laughs> in a world where I just don't know anything more than just what happens each and every day. I'm kind of like an insect, um, just making sense of the basic stuff. And whatever happens, happens. But if you're a human being... You and you're still holding on to a relationship that's not working, that's making you feel bitter. You're holding on to a job that has bo been bothering you. You're asking the questions, who am I? What is my life purpose? But you're not, you're not changing anything. You, you are, you, a lot of people are succumbing to this mindset that, you know, they're tired of living here and they just want to move on. That's not good enough. That is not good enough. I get it. I did the same thing, but it wasn't good enough for me either because I wasn't going to give up on the reality that I can have a happy life on earth and that I can inspire other people to have a happy life on earth. I didn't come here to be a bump on the log and give up and, you know, and then just just say fuck it. Whenever I'm dead, then finally I can move on um, and I'm never going to come back. Who am I to decide? I'm just a human being. My higher self has a freaking clue what's going on. I, Abby, don't have a freaking clue what's going on. I only know so much. That's why the Silent Hill experience and all the, this other stuff, you just go with the flow. But I'm telling you, when, you, when you're ready to ascend, when you're ready to transition into a world, a, a human-based experience that is full of love, like the 5D reality, wherever you, where you go, it just seems like people are happier. People are smiling. You're attracting positive people into your life. You, you do that. You conquer that. You become aligned with that frequency, that vibrational reality. When you start to be yourself, be yourself and roll with the punches and don't worry about what is going to happen if I do this. Oh my God, if I open up to speaking to spirits, maybe an evil spirit will talk to me. So I guess I better not do that. That's not ascension. That's you being afraid. That's not ascension. It's time to let it go. Let doubt go. Let fear go. Ascended reality has no doubt and has no fear. And it is allowing and, and accepting of everything that happens each and every day. The butterflies that fly in the field don't know when they're going to get scooped up by a bird and it's the end of their life. They just live their life for the moment, for the flowers, for the experience of being a butterfly, and then that's it. Why, too, can't we just live in the moment for the experience, for the flowers, for each other, and then when it's done, it's done. That's, that's it. It's beautiful thing. That's ascension. That's human life. That's what a life worth living. So, so I said that. Um, <laughs> let me see what else I need to say. Um, light language. <laughs> I'm not speaking light language in this video. You're going to have to wait until I decide to upload three light language videos, and then you can hear the wild jungle monkey butterfly that, that comes out of me. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's crazy. Um, it's just going to keep rolling as well because it's fun. Um, it's, it's opened me up. Um, okay, give me just a second here. I feel like I've said all I need to say in this video, so I don't want to drag it out. I don't know what else to say. So I'm just going to say that um, for this video. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get anything that I just talked about? Um, it's just my hodgepodge of what's been going on, and it's not the most articulately spoken or most understandably spoken thing, but it's my Ascension life experience. It's my Ascension journey, and I'm encouraging you to let go of stuff. Let go. Just keep letting go. You, you're a plane and you got too many people on the plane and there's snakes on the plane <laughs> and there's too much luggage. Okay, well, we can't let go of the people on the plane, right? <laughs> but we can let go of the snakes because we don't want to get bit by snakes on the plane. <laughs> 
<laughs> we let go of all of our suitcases. Then we get lighter and lighter and lighter. And now it's okay. We got we we're fine. People can stay on the plane. We got all that other poisonous garbage off of the plane. And now we're just going up higher and higher and higher. And the, the higher we go, and now people are talking and getting out all the deepest sorrows and the deepest experiences. And we're starting to have heartfelt um, connections. And we're we're letting it out through our voices, um, through sounds, through sharing our emotions. We're letting it out, and then the energy energy is just coming out of the airplane and now the plane is getting higher and higher and higher and we're connecting and we're feeling loved and we're feeling supported. That's ascension. We let go of what is not working. We let go of the fear-based stuff. Our brains are going to tell us it's a total mucky mac nightmare and there's no way I can let go of half of this stuff. You got to you you got to simplify. You got to keep simplifying things down to what can you let go of right now? And then you work on letting go of that one thing and focus on always thinking positive and taking the time to walk out in nature and looking for the smiley faces, looking for the happiness and continue to welcome that positive energy to break up whatever is in your spiritual atmosphere that is attracting more challenge. But you have got to put some effort into this. You have got to choose to let go of stuff or you hold on to stuff. And obviously, we're all in this kit and caboodle together, and some of us are ready to let go of stuff, and some of us aren't yet. We're all at different soul levels. We're different age souls, different like, diverse experiences. And that's part of us working together as a team, a soulmate collective, as a human race on planet Earth. That's human ascension. Okay, I'm done with this video. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it I hope it gives you something to think about. If you're interested in connecting with me one on one, I would be delighted to help you um, with anything. Anything that you have going on in your life is an energy reality. And we can transform, you know, we can turn that frown upside down with energy. We always can because sadness is energy and happiness is energy too. So we take away negative energy and we transform it with love and you start to feel uplifted. And when you are uplifted, you're attracting positive things into your life. You are thinking clearly, you're choosing positive things for yourself and you are now getting control of your life, getting control of what this is all about is love. So if you're interested, you can visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful day.